What's going on everyone? In this video I'm going to show you how normal people wash their BMW M3s, M4s. Uh, some of us, or most of us, don't have time for three buckets and professional detailing and spending hours on their cars. Uh, most people also don't pour, put clear bra on their vehicles. I'm going to show you my way of washing my car and how I keep my car clean. And I'm also realistic. Cars are meant to be driven. They'll get scratches. They'll never be perfect. You always have a little swir small marks here and there. Uh, so if you're interested in learning how I wash my car, how a regular car, a regular guy washes his car, this is the video for you. First thing we need to do is take the car out of the garage. So I typically wait for either a morning or the evening or a cloudy day to wash the car and I park it in this area of my house uh, where I have a lot of space to walk around. There's a, there's a drain on the side where all the water could drain to and it gives me a lot of uh, room to, uh, to move around. So this is everything I use to wash my car. I have a wash mitten, I have a, a foam gun that I connect to my regular hose. Uh, I go with uh, Chemical Guys Citrus Wash and Gloss. It's a fantastic product. And they also have this bucket with a grit guard to catch any uh, any grit. And I only use one bucket. I don't have separate buckets for uh, for wheels, separate buckets for bottoms of the of the car. I use one bucket, and I'll show you my technique of how one bucket is enough. Uh, since I recently renovated my garage, I connected hot and cold water to uh, to my hose, and this gives me the uh, flexibility to be able to wash my car even uh, in, in the colder season, which is, uh, which is what I do. And then to the right of, of my hose, I have uh, my microfiber drying cloth. And also on the left-hand side, I have a bunch of micro, uh, microfiber towels that I, that I keep clean and I rewash after each, uh, each use. Clean. I also purchased 150 feet of this hot rubber uh, hose that can accommodate hot water since what we're going to be doing first is using hot water to uh, to prime the car as I call it. So let's roll it out. So I've got 150 feet of hose up here. So what I typically do first is I turn on the hot water and I spray the car. So first you're going to get 150 feet of cold water until the hot water uh, comes on. That's my trigger to start pouring uh, water into the bucket. Well, let me turn. And then what I typically do is I switch it to the rinse side and I try to scrape any of the debris that might be stuck to the side. So now that the hot water is finally uh, coming out of the hose, what I like to do is I take my tri trusted chemical guys, pour probably too much in it, but again, this is my way of doing it. Switch it to shower and let it fill up the bucket. While this is filling up, I, s I turn off the hot and I turn on the cold. So that way the bucket will have a perfect mixture of hot and cold. By the time the water gets to the top, it's gonna be nice and, uh, and warm for me to touch. And while the bucket is filling up, I take my foam gun, I fill it up with a bit of my product. And I'll, I use maybe about, well maybe that's not enough. And I'll fill it up with uh, with water all the way. So maybe 15%, 20% of, uh, of product and then 80% of water. So it looks like my bucket is filling up pretty darn well. It looks like it's filled up almost to the top. So it's time for me to fill up the foam gun. So this is what it's looking. Uh, we have cold water feeding my gun and I've got the container filled up with a mixture of, of product and water and let the spraying begin. It's 
So I'm going to let the product do its thing, bring basically all the debris down to the bottom, so hopefully there are fewer scratches on the paint. Uh, I'm going to let it drip down, and then I'll give it a quick rinse. After I give it a quick rinse, uh, I'm going to begin my washing procedure. Alright, I think we've waited long enough. I don't want this product to dry out and leave spots, although I'm still going to wash it, but, but that's, just, uh, that's just me. So uh, I'm going to wash it off. I'll wash it from the top, or rinse it from the top to the bottom, uh, making sure I pick up any debris that might be stuck in the little cracks here and there. Uh, well, that's, that's really it. So this is my uh, first rinsing procedure. So now that the car is rinsed, I'm gonna take my wash mitt and I'll, I'll mix the product in because sometimes chemical guys product likes to stay at, stay at the bottom and the water is nice and warm. So I can go all the way in. By the way, these things I wash after every car wash. I put it in the uh, in the laundry machine and I give it a nice wash. I never reuse these things because they pick up so much debris that uh, it's better to be safe than sorry. So I've got a couple of these. And then, so what I do now is I, again I start from the top. I usually do the roof. I do the windshield. I do the the back window. I do the sides and then I rinse it. The reason why I do it is because I don't want dry spots to form and then have to uh, fix them again so uh, I kind of do uh, wash rinse wash rinse wash rinse procedure uh, it works for me very well take a look so now that this is done I'm gonna go ahead and uh, rinse the top and start working on the bottom So now we all know that a lot of dirt and grime accumulates in this part of the car, and I get it. A lot of people suggest that you need two buckets, one for or three buckets, one for the top, one for the bottom, one for the wheels. It's not a bad idea. However, I just I don't see myself using three buckets every weekend to wash the car. So this is my method. Again, works for me, might not work for you, but this is how I wash my car. I work this section probably probably up to here. I do the fenders, I do the bumpers actually, the front and back, and I leave the bottom section for the very last. And the reason why I do it is because, again, it, uh, it's got a lot of dust, a lot of debris, and I don't want to spread it all over the paint. And then what, what I typically do is, I wash it in straight motions, not to leave any soil, just in case a little stone, you know, gets caught in this thing. I go in uh, in even lengthy strokes. been a long time we got to give it a quick rinse we don't want it to dry out again So now that the, that the car is drying, or it's, the water is flowing down, and it's flowing down nicely, what I typically do is I let it dry by itself just a little bit uh, while I get started on the wheels. And to get started on the wheels, this is what I do. 
I take my trusted wash mitt and no, I do not use it on the wheels, never. I put it on the side, it goes in the washer, and I take a microfiber cloth. I still use the same, the same water that I use to wash the car, because at the end of the day, it's only the wheels. Uh, I don't think you can really see tiny scratches on the wheels. So as the, as the car is drying, this is how I wash the wheels. start off with the tire on the outside but oh, I never use tire shine those things are awful uh, wash the outside and then these 666 wheels on the BMW are very tricky to wash and keep clean so this is my method of doing it first I I wash these things on the outside then I wash these guys on the inside then I wash the inner spokes then I wash it on the outside and I repeat the procedure on every single wheel I love these wheels, but I hate cleaning them. And then I just fold the towel and wash the hose on the inside. Now that the sort of inside rim is washed, I'm doing the spokes. Then I get into these holes. Then, these wheels have this little channel on the inside, right behind the spokes. It's pretty deep, so I typically have to get in there with my fingers and just push the microfiber down. Push it all the way down, and then push it all the way down. Some water is going to collect at the bottom at the end of the wash. I usually uh, rinse it off because when it mixes with the brake dust that you're going to get after the first drive, it can, it's going to form this, uh, this orange rim in the channel. You don't want that. Then you make sure you wash the outside. And then last but not least, you wash your calipers. Just get your hand in there and give them a nice little wash. So I'm going to repeat the same process on the, the remaining three wheels, but before I do that, I'm realizing that the car is starting to dry out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, a couple of microfiber towels to dry the car out. Okay. Almost forgot, I got to rinse the wheel. Whoops, so much for drying the car. So this is pretty much soaking wet. I should invest in another one, but I've got a couple of these guys. That's a no-no. Once this happens, you've got to toss it. I'm going to save these because I'm going to use them for the door jams. But before I do that, I'm going to finish cleaning the wheels. So come with me. So, so I got the car only about eight weeks ago. When I first got it, the wheels were getting extremely dusty. And then when my friend did, my friend gave me this. It's made by Tycor. It's a wheel wax. I applied it maybe three or four weeks into the ownership. And even though the wheels still get a lot of brake dust, it's not as much as it was uh, before I applied, I applied the product. Uh, so is it worth it? Yeah, it uh, makes my, and it doesn't make my life easier, but it, uh, it makes it for a, uh, for a cleaner looking car. So let's do this guy now.
think she's nice and clean on the inside. So no need for me to touch it. Ah, so pretty. So pretty. These seats are amazing. Anyways, back to reality. So this is it. This is how normal people wash their cars or BMW M3s, M4s. This is how I do it. I've watched a bunch of videos on YouTube and yes, they're fantastic, they're great, but I just don't have the, the time to, uh, to go into that detail. Uh, like I said, the car is gonna get scratched. It's, good. it's meant to be driven. I've got a couple of scratches on the front. I was gonna invest in a clear bra. I decided against it. A couple of years from now, if I still own the car, I can just color correct it and uh, we should be good to go. But she's looking nice and pretty and it looks like we just made it before the sun line started to come in so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pull the car into the garage and let it dry even more in the garage i don't want to leave it outside it's too pretty then i'm gonna go for a drive later on thanks for watching everyone